this is actual footage of a sunquake. In 1998, there was a solar flare up in the corona that was so powerful that the material flying down toward the surface of the sun actually slapped the surface and caused ripples to spread out from there. While they may look like ripples on a pond, these are actually waves two miles high, traveling at a maximum velocity of 250,000 miles per hour. The 1998 sunquake would have measured an 11.3 on the Richter scale, more than one million times stronger than the 1989 earthquake that shook San Francisco. In order to shake the surface of the sun that much, the solar flare had to release a colossal amount of energy. It turns out it's almost the same amount of energy as if you covered the entire landmass of the Earth with dynamite, about a yard thick, and set it all off at once. So these explosions are not small. Earthquakes aren't the only natural disasters with equivalents on the sun. A flare can also kick off a solar tsunami, as waves of plasma in the sun's atmosphere rocket out at 700,000 miles per hour, spreading around the entire face of the star in a matter of hours. While sunquakes and solar tsunamis pose no danger to Earth, the violent action of a flare frequently triggers dangerous eruptions called coronal mass ejections, or CMEs. 